Hello, my friends, and welcome to Paulina Art. Today, we're going to be painting this beautiful, bright red roses. I am using very basic colors, including this pretty yellow ochre and this vintage white. These two colors are from the Folk Art Town Square acrylic set. I did a review and swatches of this palette. If you haven't seen it, I'm gonna leave a link on the description box below. These are my own opinions. My reviews or paintings are not sponsored. If you would like to see how I painted these beautiful red roses, stay with me and let's paint together. Today I'm working on a 9 by 12 surface. I've already done my background and it might look black but it's really a dark dark green and what I use was some of this dark green this classic green from folk art and just a couple of drops of my black gesso and to save some time i have sketched my flowers based on the sketch that i did for this tutorial and what i use to sketch my flowers is this very bright orange chalk because i can really see my flowers I'm going to attach a link below on a few of the videos on how I explain into detail how I sketch the flowers onto my surface based on my sketch. I'm going to use very basic colors and I'm going to put them all on the description box below. I'm going to start by painting the roses as usual. I'm going to start with this big large center rose and for that I'm going to use this angle brush is a Medine number seven. You can use a flat brush if you prefer. And I'm gonna pick up a little bit of blending gel. My brush is uh, wet and I'm picking up just a little bit of blending gel, trying to remove the excess. And I'm gonna put a little bit of red on the toe and some berry wine on the heel. I wanna have more bread then berry wine and to intensify the darkness inside the rose i'm just going to grab a tiny little dot of black now i'm going to start doing the center of my rose and the center of my rose i always follow the stem and it's going to be right here i'm going to start doing the back petals I'm just adding some back petals. Now I'm gonna start doing the bud of my rose by doing one petal in the center. Now I'm gonna close it by adding a petal coming this way. Now I'm gonna start adding little side petals to close my rose bud. And on the other side. The belly of my rose is right in here. I always like to know where the belly of the rose is. That way my rose is going to look better. Now I'm going to start adding some petals. Going towards the center. start doing the outer petals of my rose and I'm always respecting the belly of the rose when I do my side petals the large petals on the bottom here these petals are always larger than the other petals I'm 
and I'm overlapping them as well. I'm going to add some more petals in here just to fill up my rows. And my first red rose is done. I'm going to switch to a smaller angle brush. I'm going to use a Medine number no. 6 angle brush to do the two smaller roses and the rosebuds. For the small rosebuds, I have my smaller angle brush loaded the same way. And I'm just going to press my brush and slide it up. And I'm going to do the same on this one. I'm going to press my brush and slide. And I'm going to close my little rosebud by doing the same on the other side. And my two rosebuds are done. I'm going to go ahead and paint my two other roses the same way I painted this one. I'm going to do it off camera. That way this video won't be super long. Okay, my friends, all my roses are done. I'm gonna start painting the leaves. I think I'm gonna use my midi number six for all of that. And I got a little bit of blending gel, just a very small amount. And I'm going to pick up some of this nice yellow ochre and some of my classic green. Now I'm gonna make sure my brush is coated. And I'm also going to attach a drop of vintage white at the toe. These two colors, the yellow ochre and the vintage white are colors from the Town Square palette. I'm gonna Leave a link below of my review on swatches. If you haven't seen it before, check it out. It has beautiful colors. I'm going to start with the leaves that are behind. And I'm going to do the lighter part of my leaves at the top of the leaves. These are all the leaves that are in behind. I'm going to do the other side of the leaf with the brush loaded the opposite way with the darker green at the toe and the lighter at the heel. Painting the leaves this way, it gives them a lot more dimension. Okay, with the brush loaded the same way with the dark green at the toe, I'm going to do the sepals of my rose buds and I'm going to just press the brush and come up. And I'm going to hug the little rose bud. And some coming from behind. And the sides. We're going to add some leaves just by pressing our brush. Let's do the same on this little bud. I'm going to paint some of these uh, stems of the rose. And I'm going to finish all my leaves the same way with the lighter, the lighter color at the top. I can sweep some of the chalk out that I don't need anymore. Make sure your paint is dry before you do this. 
with my angled brush with the green at the top and the yellow and white at the heel of my brush I'm going to start adding some some branches and sepals on these larger roses I'm just going to add some branches to make it look more like roses. We can add some small leaves just uh, with the brush loaded the same way just by pressing and lifting like this. adding a little more vegetation okay my friends our beautiful red roses are almost done one last thing you can do if you like with a liner brush and some of the red you can touch up some of the petals it's not all of them just a few just to add a little more if you want to do that without overdoing it. Okay, my friends, and our beautiful red roses are done. The last thing I did is with a brown brush and some of the red paint and lots of water, I splatter a little bit of the red around the roses. If you watch my videos, you know that I like to finish some of my florals this way. I find it gives the painting more vibrancy. I hope you enjoy this video as much as I enjoyed painting these roses. If you like this video, please give it a like, share it with your friends, and subscribe to my channel if you don't want to miss any future content from me. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you on the next one. Mm -hmm.